Lights on the dark side. Let's make the left be the the light side. We said that's what I'm making that on. Anyway, you could reverse if you want. Now, so we're gonna say it's light. So just what I've got right here, even in the water, you can nearly use because you want this really light. Save some white areas and kind of use the tip of your brush, okay? And I'm just gonna paint in kind of like a wood texture on the you see I'm saving some of the white areas there. Okay, move up closer if you can't see it here. Now I want this to be really light on this light side, okay? So that's basically all I'm going to do right there, okay? That's all we're going to do on the, uh, the the light side. Now the dark side, how do we get the dark? How do we get it dark? Remember, dark was in black, so what do you do? Water. Less water. Less water. So I'm not even going to, I mean, I've got enough just right here. That's it, right there. So this is is a better, little better quality paint than the Crayola Brown here. But um, we have a few of these that are going to use them. So let's see. Now, okay, so let's put this, we want to dry your brush off. This is more of the dry brush technique. So you want to dry it off even more. It just gets really dark. Notice the example. See how like in the green one works really dark there? Okay, so we're just going to paint, and I'm going to paint around the, um, um, the fence post. Just going to paint around. This would be where you could use the frisket technique or, or the masking tape. You could tape it. If you, and then save those white areas and just paint right over it. I'm just going to try to, since this is so small, I'm just going to paint around it. See how I'm getting this dark? Again, no water here, right? So we're getting this one a lot darker here, okay? Alright, so we've got this. Painting around the tree trunk there. I use a little water, it's not flowing for you, but the darker, the less water, the darker value there you're going to get, okay? Alright, so any questions so far? Here's the blue. And again, you want to do your first one just pretty much like this. You can mess up, start again. And you get it. But alright, now, alright, so that's kind of the dark side there, okay? You got that dark value in there on that one there. Now, the next part, let's see. Oh, we're still in the house. Okay, now let's start the doorway. Now, watch how we do the doorway here, okay? The opening the door in the window. Now, we're going to do a kind of a graded wash technique, okay? It's going to be dark. We're going to put a little bit of dark color in here, okay? And then this is where I'm going to totally clean out the brush. There's the water. And then we're just going to add a little bit of water right next to it. See that? See how that just faded that over there? That's going to be the doorway, okay? Give me the doorway. All right, now let's do the little window. It's a little smaller. A little throw it on the window here, okay? Now you also have your little brush. Did, uh, someone asked me earlier about the little brush. Could use that for the... Uh, for water, yeah, you can use that little detail brush too. This one you see is a little bigger, but but if you keep this in a point, you can get it. Do what now? Okay, okay. So right here, put the top of the, the roof or the or the doorway a little edge on it. Okay, any questions so far? All right, now let's paint the, the rest of the roof in. Okay, now we're gonna put this little this this part here kind of overhangs over. The, uh, the roof. So even though this is the light side, this is going to be dark. See, you can notice like, like right here on that part, but that's going to be dark on the left part of that. So it's kind of the overhang of the roof is there. That's going to be darkened right there because that's kind of in shadow. Okay, see that part? Okay. Now we're going to paint the other side there as well. That's kind of got a little overhang on it too. Okay, a little overhang there. Okay. And now that one, I'm, I like to kind of go and put a few little wood textures, wood grain textures coming down there like that, with that one. See that? Okay. All right. So, all right. Now, let's see where we got the uh, the roof. Now, the roof, you got three values. You're thinking like a box, you know, like the geometric shapes there from drawing class. You got the dark side, light side, and like a middle grain. Okay. That's kind of what you're thinking about with the roof. So the roof, you're just going to kind of use what the, the color you got in your palette there to kind of do the roof color. You want it kind of not the light side and not, not the dark, kind of in the middle, okay? So see, we're just going to use some of the paint in our palette there. So the water, you just want a middle, you know, gray kind of color there. Any question on that? Okay. Just be careful with the water. Everything should be fairly dry in the area you're working here now. And again, save some of the white areas. Save some of the white. Your, your highlights. If it does kind of bleed over, just kind of have a paper towel handy in case you 
Mix it up. All right, so there we go right there, okay? All right, so there's our, there's our house. We've got, got the house, that's so about finished off. All right, so now the next part, okay? What are we at? That's the house word, paint the pathway. All right, so the pathway, to the pathway next, okay? Normally do there. All right, so the pathway, um, let's paint that in next here. And that I'm going to put, you could go a little lighter to back, a little darker, because it's going to be a little darker at the front. We're going to add some water into our paint. We're just painting the path. Remember, it's going to widen up at the bottom. Don't forget that. Widen that up at the bottom here. Get the right perspective on there. Okay. And then one thing I'm going to use next is one of the techniques, okay, right here, the scraping. Use the end of the brush. You can do some scraping technique right here. And then also we're going to go ahead and put the, the base of the house in there a little bit. Just go on. What can we do with this here, okay? And we're going to do the, the graded wash, totally cleaned out the brush. And we're just going to fade that underneath there a little bit. And that dark line. Just kind of add a little bit right there. Okay, now the next technique, the fan brush technique. Okay, remember I said you don't have to buy one of those. Take your brush like this, and you're going to take your finger over like that, and you're just going to kind of fan it out like that, okay? And then you can make grass blades, okay? You can make grass right here. Have you done this before? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can do this here with the grass, okay? That's cool. No, no, it doesn't run at all. No. If you have a fan brush, I mean, you use it, this, this, there's no really reason to buy one if you got this. So you don't want to put maybe too much. It's, it's up to you how much of the grass in there you put. Up, okay. So there's the, uh, you know, kind of if you want to put some grass blades in there. Probably, probably longer blades at the bottom. Okay. Now, the next step, let's put in here. All right, back on that too much. A little bit there. Okay, so the next step. All right. So I've got a little bit of What's the next mountain. step? There? The mountain. Okay, the mountain. All right, so that's where I'm at right here. All right, so now watch what we do with the mountains. Okay, now this is again kind of like a, if you did it uh, the same way at the bottom of this one over here with the, uh, the oil painting on the side there. It's the same way with, with that, just about. Okay, you're going to paint it dark on the light side and darker at the top. Okay, so here we go. We're going to paint our, our mountains in. Okay. Be careful around the, the house here. Okay, so I'm going to paint the top. Now, this is where you got to work really fast and slow here. Really stay right focused on it. Okay, and I'm just now what am I what am I doing here? I'm just getting the top line of it back in there. Okay, now light and dark, dark lights this way. Okay, so we're gonna think that now. Totally cut the brush. It's a graded wash. Okay, watch what I do. Just like we did the horizon line there. I'm just having kind of clear water. This is clear water. A bit too much. You just gotta I'm just barely. Watch what I'm doing over here. Watch what I'm doing in the water. See how the brush is barely hitting the water there. You, you totally submerge it, put it, it's going to, it'll go everywhere. So you've got to be very careful. Just takes practice as you get it, you know, and then you'll figure, figure out how much water to use. It's the whole thing with watercolor, how much water, how to control it. It's all about control of everything. All right, so there we go. Boom, that's, that's it. That's it on the mountain. Um, yeah, we have the white gouache. It's an opaque watercolor, or if you want to do some little detail things, you know, that you could do, paint clouds, things like that. You could do paper towel clouds, but this in this particular paint is so small, you just leave the clouds like they are, okay? Even though it looks like it's raining the way it kind of bled out there. Now, all right, so that's it with that. Now, if you want to kind of make a little bit of the dark side, you can do a little dry brush technique here on one little edge to it, kind of. See the edge of the mountain, see I'm just darkening that side. And that's basically all I did on this painting over here, is see that there's a dark side, and then I just had white oil paint on this on the left to make the light. It's a very simple technique. Looks like you spent a lot of time on it. Just a matter of, you know, like Bob Ross, just a few, few seconds. All right, so there we go. Now, now I want to paint, the one thing here a lot of people forget sometimes is the base of the mountain. Now, it's not technically the, the horizon line. See, the horizon, I didn't paint it yet, actually. That was just the base of the house. But, so the horizon is actually, or actually it could be the horizon on this particular one here. So let's put that in there. All right, and this is, let's put a little water. So we don't want to make, I don't want that line too dark. Don't want to over, just kind of accent it a little bit there. See that? And that just want a little bit of a, Back in there, trying to show the bottom of the, of the hill or the mountain side. Okay, so there we go. Now, what are we down to now? Now, mountain hills, trees, trees. Let it dry a little, and then the details, and we're done. Okay, so here we go. Now, so the trees are next. Now, the mountain still. Why well, we just paint that? So we got to be a little bit of care, careful when we paint that tree, but it should be all right to go. Wait a second or so here. Okay. Wait a 
second or so here, and then we're ready to go. All right, here it is. This is going to be the the tree. I'm going to paint this little one first. Okay. You got to be careful also with your hand. This is still kind of wet with the house. It's all still a little bit wet. You don't want to put your hand there, and it's going to get all over. So I got to make sure, kind of touch it there, tap it, see if it's going to be dry. So you got to be very. You only kind of have to hold it off a little bit. Now notice the paper towel. Keep everything on your the dominant hand side there, and let's get this, the tree in there. Yeah. So I'm just looking at that tip of that brush to get that in there. Okay. This is just the brush in your in your paint set. All right. So here's our. No, notice I'm holding it just these two fingers. Okay, and I'm holding you want to hold that brush like it's a feather. If you grip it real tight and you just lay it in, you're gonna have the branches way too big, way, way too, too wide. You want to make sure you get it, uh, just barely hit that on there. And just, you just sometimes you're not, you're not even hitting it. The goal is try to make the thinnest branch you can here. The trunk can be thicker, the branches are very thin, and you know, you may want to use that, that little smaller brush, but. But get where you can kind of use the different ones you, that you have here. If you go out to the mountains on the weekend, you go out in the Superstition Mountains paint, you may not have, you know, a lot of your brushes. You may just have a little, like your basic water in your paint set, and that's it. So, so there you go. Now, we want to paint a base under that in a second. Now that tree's done, okay? Now let's paint the other one. Paint the other one, and we're nearly done with this, okay? Any questions so far? Okay, and then once you get it, we'll come around and help you out. And, uh, which is real good. Now, so this tree trunk here is, of course, lighter, so we're going to paint it. Think think light on the dark side, okay? Now, do a little bit of, like, so this trunk's a little lighter, so we're going to paint that in there. No, notice how I'm holding it again. See that? Everyone see that? Okay. And uh, I'm just going to, you just want to kind of kind of wiggle it around there like that. And there's a little, little, nice little thin branches in there. We've got a really thin kind of branch. And a, car, and a watercolor, do you know what watercolor used to be called? It used to just be a sketch. They used to call them cartoons, like in the Renaissance. And and what's the oldest painting technique? Okay, yeah, that's what said. Yeah, the history of it. The, it's the cavemen, you got the, the petroglyphs. It's been around. It's the oldest technique. It's the hardest technique to use, but it's uh, you know once you get it, now like you can even do a little scraping, you know, some fair texture. Okay, so see. Some of those are a little wide. You can see just different ones throughout some of the, the trees. You know, sometimes they're better than others, but I don't want a thick branch there. Okay, any other question? Now again, if you want to put the leaves on the tree, like you said earlier, you could use the sponge. That's the easiest way. Okay, and you can also do that little splatter thing. Just tap the brush like this. You can, a lot, a lot of ways you can do, you know, the really that branch or, you know, leaves to it. Okay, but that's, uh, for this one, it's really, now I'm going to paint the base. Now we're at the very bottom grass base eco. Done. Now right here, I'm gonna paint the base on, on the, each tree here a little bit, okay? See the tree right there had that little line under, okay? Never have anything floating, whether it's a still life object or or you know, tree, whatever it might be. You always gotta get a kind of a little base under there, a little shadow. Okay. And then notice the technique, see what I did there? Totally clean out the brush. I got the hot, I got the line, boom, I can't wait too long here. I got it, boom, just the graded wash again. There's the degraded wash. And the techniques that's why I said that's one of the most important techniques in painting it. So there it is. Now you could just say it's done there. I want to kind of looks like I've got my hand on the, the path over there. I want to touch that back up a little bit. So okay if you want to do more you know more more scraping you could do you could even do some pin oh I one thing I forgot the fence let's paint the fence in on the house we can paint the fence. Saved it in there, but so, yeah, I didn't save the, the cross line going through. But anyway, so that's the um, the monochromatic uh, landscape right here, guys. There you go. All right, so uh, you can sign up with pencil, pen, or whatever you want. Now, now, don't take the tape off until let let it dry about five ten minutes. Then carefully peel the tape off. You'll have that nice little white border, uh, just like these, and then um, that's it. So. So now, now we have the paper. Any questions that you got? I've got tons of examples. Like so I'll hang some up. But here's our paper. And then uh, use the, the ones with the textured side. If you're still on the techniques, you can finish those up. The techniques, okay? And we got the sponge, the salt. One thing I didn't use, you know, you could pour a little salt on if you want to do a little salt te technique. It's got to be when it's still wet, though. And um, just use front and back for the techniques. Draw it out. Just, there's the steps. There's the steps, okay? 
I just got to save some whites and then uh, that's it. So now we'll grab you some paper. How much time we got left? Yeah, you still got time?